Hi, I'm Diamond Weaver and this is my protege, Jalen Mitchell. And we're at Epcot in China. And today the Imagineer Joe Rody will be speaking. Joe Rody had designed the Animal Kingdom. And now let's listen to what Joe Rody has to say to the dreamers. My life has been uh, a lot of learning. A lot of learning uh, about how these things happen, how dreams come true, how you make magic things happen. I didn't start out in a place uh, where there was, you know, a lot of potential for a lot of magic to happen. Um, I grew up in Hawaii. I grew up in a neighborhood called Makiki on the island of Oahu, the same neighborhood that Obama grew up in, about four blocks from where his house was. Um, not a very wealthy neighborhood on the island of Oahu. The house I grew up in was condemned to be torn down, and it was torn down the day we moved out of it. It was held up in probate for my entire childhood. That's the house I grew up in. But I definitely grew up in a house um, where it was acceptable and respected to pursue a creative career. A lot of times, you know, when you start out uh, in the conditions, you know, where there's not a lot of money around, everybody's like, look, you gotta be a doctor, you gotta be a lawyer, you gotta own a business, you gotta pick a job where you're gonna make some money so your kids aren't blowing cockroaches off their bread. You know, so at least I didn't have that thing of like, you gotta go do one of these rational jobs. My parents were comfortable with the idea that I wanted to do something creative. They're gonna support the idea that I was gonna do something creative. It was up to me to figure out how is that gonna put bread on the table that doesn't have little cockroaches crawling around on it. Um, and that was my job, which incidentally, it took me a long time to catch up with. I was not like the flash of genius out of the blue. I, as I said, very dependent on the kindness and support of others uh, to get to where I am. I can't tell you how many times I've run into a situation where somebody will say, no, that can't be done, or no, that is impossible, when in fact what they really mean is something like, in order to do that, we would have to break a rule, or in order to do that, we would have to reorganize ourselves differently than we are currently organized, or in order to do that, we would have to take longer to get it done. Well, that's not impossible. That's just inconvenient. Um, usually the key, the key to what is impossible is inside of the no. You listen really carefully to the no. You can hear the key inside the no. I'm here with Joe Rody and he's an Imagineer. What is it? What is an Imagineer? An Imagineer is someone who builds all the things that the Disney company builds. Hotels, resorts, rides, attractions, all of that stuff. That's who we are. How does someone become an Imagineer? Well, it takes a blend of imagination and engineering. That's what the name means. So you got to sort of understand how to dream big dreams, and then you got to know a lot about how to get them done. What kind of project have, have you worked on as an Imagineer? Well, the main thing that I've worked on most of my career is called Disney's Animal Kingdom, one of the parks here at Walt Disney World. Um, and I've spent most of my career working on that. What is your favorite project that you have worked on? Well, I worked on Expedition Everest, which is a big roller coaster that's at Animal Kingdom. I love that project. It's exciting. It's beautiful. I got to have big adventures while I was doing it. I think so far that's the most exciting thing I've ever done. I like that ride too. I'm glad because that is a great ride. I've seen you on TV and you are always wearing different earrings. What's the deal with the earrings? Yeah. Okay. So a long time ago, I started with one little earring, right? And um, it made my hole a little bigger there in my ear, and I thought, you know what I'm going to do is whenever I'm in a country where I've never been before, I'm going to look for an earring and stick it through my ear. So they're sort of like souvenirs of all my travels and adventures. I have way more than this at home. Did their ears ever get tired from wearing those earrings? Uh, not this bunch. This is kind of like the light travel pack. But there are some of those earrings that are really, really heavy. I thought that Joe Rody was a good speaker. What did you think? I thought it was... It was a good speech to imagine in the life of a tree. What do you think, Terry Carter Warrior? I thought he was very good and very smart man.